Hello and welcome to another VG production. Today we are going to build something for October and I'm quite excited to show you what I will do because I was thinking of like oh, doing a normal org or we can do a little diorama. What I already prepared here, I had some wood leftovers that I now just taped together. Later we will glue those. And I was thinking we can do a little autopsy for orcs. I already prepped a bit. This is the pain boy model and I chopped off his arm, his upper body and put away the teeth in his jaw. And he will be our today's subject. He will just sit on right here. As well as I have like a diorama already built, but I think I will never paint it. It was pretty early in my making career, but I also have a squig we will use. And the paint boy came with this little, what are those, Gretchen's? Um, I have zero clue about orcs, so tell me in the comments down below what this little fella is. And I am thinking of putting him in a little box not like in a box but more like will be a barrel of toxic waste and um, a little admac dude i will still print up we'll sit to we'll sit like here we will check out the composition how it will be in the end and he will do all the autopsy if you are asking for some bits these are still the sci-fi bits i asked in this video check it out if you like to and we will get start to building I worked a bit more on the composition and came to the conclusion that we don't need the little guy or the squick sadly that will turn into another project but I built the walls and also started layouting they are just dry fitted on there I am still thinking of either turning him this or this way we will see. Um, I have some bits here on the side for our next little man. We will build a little servitor in the wall. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> that will do an operation on our orc. So we will start with that. Okay, I glued everything in place. I also have this window here. Um, this is from, I think, the Ancient Ruins kit from Dungeon and Laser. I really love their like kits. They really have much little greebles you can use for everything. And I mainly use them now in this build. But our next thing we will build is a little servitor that will do the operation. I have here some bits from different kits. And my idea is that we will fit him here on this wall part and he will do the operation on the orc. Either he will do like the main one or like a brain surgery. I still need to think about it. I was thinking maybe he's like in the act of uh trying to open his skull because then we have the orc standing like this and we have more of him as the centerpiece uh, instead of the admac man we can like place him here in the side i think that's nice and we place here this little tv this is also giving a bit more of an asymmetric style and he is controlling like this screen here and we can put screens here on the wall. I was thinking placing them there everywhere. Here's the servitor, here's this window. And then we also have, when I will paint it, I was thinking like I will try to illustrate light coming through the window and shining on the orc. Looks, <laughs> sounds a bit dumb, but uh, I think I really could look very cool. It's like a um, 
it's hitting the, the sunny spot currently while uh, such a gruesome scene is happening. Uh, but we built the server tunnel and after that I was also thinking of starting green stuffing his little insides that were just laying around empty. Also, we maybe need something here for his thumbs. They're mostly where, the, where his legs go, but yeah, I didn't attach them for reasons. <laughs> okay, here's my current status. I still haven't attached the org and the admeg and stuff, so I can um, add texture to the ground. I want to add like a tiling indents with my exacto blade later, but I wanted to lay it out a bit. I want you to show you my boy. I call him Jerry. And here we have a bit of a data area. I also found a little floppy disk bit somewhere. Very cool. And yeah, I also built this little crate with his arm on that was operated off. And I also added, I think that's also from the penitent engine bit, the dude at the end. It looks a bit rough right now, but we will green stuff that later. We will fix it in post. Yeah, this hasn't changed the screen and the ad mag. And yeah, I am very glad how it turned out. I will let it rest for a day or two now to, well, I will let it rest for a day now and come back tomorrow to maybe find more inspiration because I want to greeble it a bit more on the walls, but I don't want to overdo it. So I will call it for today. I will come back tomorrow with a fresh mind and look at it again. And for you, it will be a cut for, for me. To give something else attention now. I wanted to sculpt the intestines of our little orc man that is getting dissected here. For that I looked up some images. I really enjoyed that one. It's very cool. And I'm trying to replicate it. It looks like it has like a lungs still, even they are a bit orcish and some like weird um yeah, intestines. And we will be rebuilding that. I have my green stuff ready to go and we have the finished result. It's very cool. <laughs> I have to say so for myself. Um, yeah, I really like the intestines part and also like some weird organs he has up here and like as a funny gag he holds a mushroom in his hand to like a reference into the lore that Orcs are made out of mushrooms, and I thought that would be a funny piece that it is his heart is a mushroom. It's, uh, you ask from where it is, it's from the ancient ruins kit. It's from this mushroom. There is like a lady, little baby one, and we just attached it here into his hand. Also did some gap filling on our little servitor dude that is chairman now, and we let that dry. And I will come back to you later, once I gap filled all the other parts. So, everything is mostly primed. Some spots I couldn't hit, but that's okay. We will fix that later. Also, here's the box and the Ed McMahon and our main prize possession, our orc. And we will do the most of the heavy lifting with dry brushing. I watched a few videos on Arctis Opus. That's why I have all this stuff. I'm sorry, I couldn't help. But we will do the thing with dry brushing because I was thinking of doing like an object source lighting through this window here, like the light shines through here. I think we can really achieve that with dry brushing. But I think I will start off with painting the orc. We can add the OSL later. I was thinking first the orc, then the add mag, then we can do the room and the box, but the box goes in the room. So yeah, let us start with the orc. 
we are going to start off with purple instead of just green because this gives a nice undercoating and the purple will help the green pop more and we can also then be first very rough with our dry brushes and then go lighter and lighter on them to create a natural skin build up and here you have it a quick little orc was like 10 minutes dry brushing all just the colors here purple green yellow mixed all together i started with the big brush for like all the bigger things and then went to like a that was <laughs> my starting brush when i started painting and yeah i used that as my uh bit lighter dry brush as you can see does not hit every spot possible but I think that's good enough I am thinking also of maybe hitting it with a wash or not but yeah we will see I will next do the innards and the mushroom and then we can turn ourselves to the metallics this should be also an easy dry brush just to show you guys how quick and easy you can build or color such a larger piece and here we have our innards i was <laughs> pretty brutal with the painting part no remorse started off with my draw brush and picked out and um, which size are we talking here is that a 10 no that's a four sorry i can't can't read the labels with a four picking out some easy highlights with some pink and yeah some red and i also have a dark red here and with that i it reminded me a bit of an object source lighting now like the in parts are pretty red or like the pinkish but the blood uh the more it goes away i was thinking the more it should have dried out because the initial splat is already over and when blood dries it gets very dark almost brownish like this dark red which i have which is pretty nice and more towards the open wound it should get a bit lighter so yeah you can think of it like an object source lighting okay i prepped already my palette i have uh, blue green it's called jade but yeah, it's more like a, a bluish green color blue gray I took some warm yellow, I have two different yellows, but when you put them side by side, you see like this is a bit more orangey than this one. And I like this one, it gives a bit more flavor. <laughs> I want to take it, say it like that. And just the base green. And with that, we will take a big brush, a bit of water. And then start off with our blue green. And just coat our entire screen with that. It's also okay if you go a bit overboard, if you don't hit every piece. Okay, after a few more coats, we, while the things are still a bit wet, mix in a bit of our green and then go into the top right corner the thing you want to aim for here is a nice gradient from our blue to our green okay let it dry a bit more off camera and now we're going a bit back with our dark blue we want to have really it emphasized here in the corner and the green more here up top and we just interchangeably I just take a bit of the darker blue a bit of the green and just dab it mostly on there and like try to do big brush strokes I want to use the model as my mixing palette that's how i mostly see it if you want you can like 
take your darker color as like a base coat and let that dry off and like have it really clean then you don't have those black spots looking like peeking out behind but I think that is okay because we will put over some glazes and different things to hide those imperfections. Okay, now I'm at a result where I'm happy. I will let that dry off a bit and then I think we give it like a nice edge highlight with our bright green on the top and with our dark blue we do the same in the bottom. So we have a bit of contrasting and we take our yellow and mix it a bit here with a fluorescent color. And what that does is giving the writings we do on the tablet a bit more of a pop. So we are already pretty bright here on the top edge and we are going to push it after drying a bit further. So we need something that is going even further beyond. It's the same principle I used here for the lenses. I had a gradient from a dark red to a lighter red and then added some white highlights also at the bottom. And when this was dry, I took um, this orange fluorescent color and just glazed it over the bottom part. So that really gave it that that pop of color that I like to see in my models. Okay, I worked a bit more on the gradient and as you can see, I gave it here a top highlight and also a very light bottom one. And what we will do now is I pre-mixed here a bit of a very light green after contrast and now we will mix a tiny bit of our fluorescent paint in there then you have another comparison and still with our big brush we create a nice tip and I was thinking of like Having like a box here on the side and here some scribbles. We will start off with sketching out our box. We painted a little display on our man. Like we have it like sitting like there. Perfect. If you look a bit closer, yeah, it's, it's a bit wonky here and there, but I'm very proud of that. You have a bit of our gradient, looks like a digital screen, has like a cool graph, graphs are always nice. You have like a funny picture of a mushroom and our little man is looking at the screen. Like when everything is tied together, I think that will look pretty nice. And now for our main piece, we will paint our little diorama space. I think I think I will start off with like a dry brush of metallics over the metallic areas. Oh wow, well wow, how original. And but beforehand I think I will do the tiling. I will try to paint that. I was thinking of going like with a off white tiling. I was thinking like starting off with like a gray then like going to like a off-white color and then paint in the grout lines again that I somehow fucked up <laughs> they're not looking great but yeah you get what you get and paint in the grout lines again and then go in with like a titanium white or a very white white not off white and paint in some 
palette. And then I was thinking, yeah, we can give everything a bit of like a metallic dry brush and then give some focal points, some more oomph. Like I wanted to have like the window a bit nicer painted because this is also our light source. The screens need some attention. I was thinking about the claw. This is also like a bit of a wow piece. Then here our little servitor dude is also a bit of a onlooker. And then we also have here the box. That I also wanted to give a few more details. And that is basically it. I don't want to put in so much work into the background scene because our main focal point should be the orc and the admech man and not the entire scenery. Yeah. Okay. Also the entire scenery, but these are the main points we want to emphasize. Okay, for our metal, I will try something a bit out. Um, I was thinking of going with a non-metallic metal. Ooh, before you click off, we are going to make it the, the lazy way. We will start off with a uh, dark red because I wanted to have like a grungy underground surface and it is a bit wet too wet as you can see it's uh, not so nice but that's okay we just slap it on here try to be loosely with it then we will add a bit of our lighter brown brownish red and dab it onto some areas I'm not trying so much to hit the man in front because we need to paint him a bit separately like so we don't necessarily need to hit all the spots we just want to like create some point of interest because now we go in well, we let it dry now of course but then we go in with a mixture of white and black to create different tones of gray And for that we will use a bit of a smaller dry brush for comparison. <laughs> I'm trying not to get that as moist as the other one. Now that should be somewhat dry. And then we take uh, our black, just a dab of white. Oh, a bit darker. Nicely work that into our brush. So we have this sort of consistency here. See, a bit more water. You can see the paint is like starting to pull a bit. Here we have like the perfect consistency, one coat. And then we just take the brush edge and then rub it off a bit you may also want to turn the brush a bit so all the parts that you filled with paint will get used you can also later go now a bit harder on it and start to dab it or poke it a bit more 
to uh, get a bit more of a stippling effect and get also in some difficult to reach our areas and also now this should be dry again and when we do the test it's like hardly came off this is was at the beginning this is it now so we know now that this is a bit now too dry but if we just put in a bit of water you see it reactivates the paint and the bristles so we can use our thing a bit more I think this is already looking good and we can take a bit of white and try to go a bit higher the nice thing is we already have here our old one and then we directly on top of it have of our new one so we can compare it and now that this one is now a bit lighter and with that we only want to really hit our points of interest You're like this here is a nice point of interest like down here this corner we will pick out if like a bit here and, and now we let that dry and we'll apply some washes or yeah some washes for that i uh, will use agrax earth shade and a bit of the contrast paint the black legion if you mix them together in like a somewhat 50 50 with like a few drops of water you get a very nice consistency and then for like the final touches of rust i used here this magaroth flame but you can use any brown washes you have and when we apply that we get something like this here in the end i already prepped that a bit and yeah you see here the underground is the same as here our little orc but then with the washes over and the other things you get a very grimy texture and in the end you see here in the box or here on the side i just went in with like my trusty six brush and mixed a bit of black and white together different consistencies and then just just did some stripes here and there it was sometimes a bit thicker sometimes a bit lighter just to like create some different metallic textures i also need to paint here our little ad mac man the metallics and this is how I quickly do my metals. We are nearing our end. I painted the screens, did like a little object source lighting there. I did like the lights that are brimming. We still need to paint his face. I was just putting on some flesh tones. I think I will just easily wash it also picked up like smaller details like the screen or the water thing and also started to paint the coils and the window the idea was like the the light here is shining through onto the orc perfectly hitting him here on the side and like you get like a bit of yellowish on the side okay now that most of this is <coughs> sorry dried i We'll blend this here a bit more. This is pretty rough right now. I'm uh, just trying to hit the cracks as good as possible. And then we will do some dry brushing. I was um, thinking of mixing in this golden yellow, which is a bit more paler than the full yellow. What is it called? Warm yellow. And I was thinking of mixing in a bit of ivory to add like a light, light, light. <laughs> it sounds very dumb, but like a soft, soft light and not like harsh lighting. I will also think brighten this up a bit so it isn't as orange now that I see my colors next to it yeah i was thinking like a smooth soft sunlight and not 
something hardcore. Oh, I will experiment and will inform you when I found a solution. Okay, what I now basically did was, after letting it of course dry, uh, mixed in the yellow with our ivory and then graded like a very light dry brush. Uh, you can barely see it. And then we will do a bit of a scary part and try to hit that end frame. Lightly brush our edges here. Dab it a bit. Also here that. Just don't try to be too rough. We don't want to overdo it. And like when you imagine here's our light shining there. I think we need to hit this side here a bit more and our little Edmac man also gets like a tiny bit of light. Here we also catch the light. And then the ground here. Not this part because there we have the shadow. Now I have like here the strip. And I think we call this done like our little sun effect i think that looks very nice i will clean up this a bit but like here this this looks i think very convincing yeah i'm very <laughs> i am i am very impressed how that turned out holy moly I didn't think that it would be so easy. But yeah, I think it is time for the grand reveal. Mm -hmm.